Right now in the Simonton area where sadly two people have died in the floodwaters. Phil. I mean, uh, Fort Bend deputies are clearing this scene where they recovered earlier today the bodies of a married couple in their 60s. Those two people driving down Pool Hill Road here hit that high water and were submerged. One of the victims was on the phone pleading for help with 911 when the phone went dead. Submerged in high water, only the truck's roof is visible. Donald Ray Rogers and his wife Rochelle were found inside. They'd been making welfare checks on family members in Symington when they drove into high water. He was going to make a round and go check on my uncle and then right. come to my mom's house. Mm -hmm. okay. So, but we kept calling him and no respond. As their truck began to sink, it was washed off the road into a drainage ditch. Inside, Rochelle Rogers tried to call for help. We did receive a 911 call from the female in the vehicle that stated that their car was being surrounded by water. Um, the phone was disconnected. The dispatcher was then able to re you know, call back, um, but it, it was too late. Family members complained the couple had no warning. No barricades or roadblocks had been set up by the county to warn of high water. I think that if we had a roadblock, that Marco would have never went that way. Like right over here, there's like right there, same there's thing, no, no roadblock. No roadblock. And look how many homes out here, and there's no roadblock right there. This whole county has been dealing with an enormous, a tremendous amount of rain. We actually ran out of barricades. Investigators say visibility wasn't an issue in the bright noon sunshine. And with high water currently blocking roads throughout the region, motorists have to exercise extra caution. And you can see they are putting up a temporary barricade back here behind me. You know the phrase, turn around, don't drown, may begin to be sounding trite about this time. We've, hear, we've been saying it a lot and, uh, and repeating it a lot, but it's pretty good advice. Those two deaths here bring the death to total from Harvey in Texas up to 23. Reporting live near Symington, I'm Phil Archer, KPRC Channel 2 News. All right, Phil.